Hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Dr. Frank Steel, and I was given a welder generator. It's a Link Weld 225, really old. I haven't started it. I really just uh, was told, hey, come get this welder, pick it up. You need one? It's yours. I was told that he he ran it on the job when his welder broke, and uh, this one's just collecting dust in, the, in his backyard, and he really just wanted it gone. So I figured I'd always pick it up did it work in he's never broken it open or anything like that he just picked it up from a junkyard and see if it worked and it did it did a job for him so he didn't want it no more gave it to me i'm gonna get it running kind of want to see if there's uh any kind of build up on the inside change the oil i have no need for a stick welder at the moment but it does stick welding and has two 110 outlets. So kind of useful to have. Um, I don't want to really invest a lot of money into it. I kind of want to see where it's at. Right now, it's after I, I just got off of work. I only got a few hours left of daylight. This is usually what I have to work on my projects is just after work. I have a window between like uh, 4.30 and about 6ish. If I'm going to work on anything, I need it in the shop to where I can like have money. I'm doing, or, I'll, or if I'm working outside, I'll have to set up a bunch of shop lights. So I kind of want to bring it closer to the shop to where I can put light on it. My tools are right there. It's just kind of easy to like pull up the carburetor, I'll get it pulled inside, pull it apart on my bench, put it back together. So I really just got to pull it off the truck, get it in the shop. I don't want to buy like lift just for this one job, just lift it out and then put it back in. A cheap lift, you can get it for around 160 bucks. I have my engine hoist down south. I'm in Santa Maria, that's in San Bernardino. I want to spend as little bit amount of money as possible. So I'm going to use what I have to try to get this thing out of my truck. Put it in there with an engine hoist. I don't want to go over there and borrow his, bring it back here, lift it out, and bring his hoist back. I'm just going to use what I have. I have a small hand winch. Let me see if that'll work. If it doesn't. Then I'll have to go buy like a couple of them or something. Sorry about the noise. I live right next to the freeway. So that is that sound you're hearing in the background. Let's go ahead and see what I can do to pull this thing out. can at least work on it, probably add some canisters to it, and get the right tools over time rather than spending it right away just to see if this thing is even worth it. If it's not worth it, just scrap it for cash. Whatever kind of copper or electronics are out of it, I can get a little bit of money. But uh, I did break virtually all the I have. But if you want to see me break inside of this thing and uh, see what's uh, see what its problem is, like and subscribe for future videos. 
Let me know what you think. So I guess when when my buddy did well with it, he would turn it on. It would run just fine. And it said he could weld like full weed with stick. And as soon as he was done and he broke the arc, stopped welding, the whole generator would just shut off. So maybe something with the choke, maybe it's something with the uh, idler, fuel shut off, or maybe just some kind of short of the system. This might be the problem right here. The old magnet. Okay, if you want to see me do more videos on this, like and subscribe and let me know what you think. But uh, that's it for today. So uh, stay tuned until the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.